Hi everybody, this is the Golden Era Bookworm. I've been meaning to make this video for a while. Uh, so you want to gain weight. An article by Perry Rader, which first appeared on Your Physique 1947 November. Perry Rader was quite uh, famous back in the golden era because he was the main editor of Iron Man magazine shown here with John Grimmick on the cover and he also came up with some great booklets on gaining weight and these were particularly targeted to hard gainers I'm talking about really thin ectomorphs that just don't have that weight to really get into bodybuilding and I guess they need to build up their strength and their bulk this is what this uh, video is really about and what the advice uh, that I'm presenting here by Perry Rader was targeted for that particular audience of hard gainers. So Perry's training tips included training two to three times a week only at the beginning using full body workouts. The focus was on the breathing squat just like I've done a previous video on super squats the book this is very similar information I also recommend that book it's a great book uh, he also recommended to train heavy and to use the progressive method of barbell resistance uh, um, I've mentioned this a few times but if I haven't explained myself properly the progressive method of barbell resistance uh, which I'm sure most of you may know but if you don't know means that let's say you have a poundage of I don't know 200 pounds or close to 100 kilos on the squat and you can only perform I don't know uh, 10 to 15 reps at that weight well in this case when you're doing a 20 rep squat program your target would be 20 reps and so you would achieve those reps and once you do you can then increase the weight this is the double progressive method of barbell resistance which was used a long time ago and it should still be used today although lots of people just change the exercises which without thinking of increasing the resistance by increasing the resistance uh, and having that as a goal you know you have a benchmark to get stronger and this was the old method and I I think it's still one of the best methods I, th I think it's the only real method that works you should have a goal of reps a range 8 to 12 10 to 15 or whatever up to 20 reps perform that with the required weight and then increase the weight and start again this is the true method of progressive resistance Perry's lifestyle tips included drinking two liters of milk daily Back then, remember, there were no protein powders or supplements and milk, which is basically whey with fat and some vitamins and minerals, was as good as any protein drink and probably still is. Um, he also recommended to eat a whole food diet and that includes your standard meat and potatoes and veg. Whether you like it or not, animal protein is still superior in gaining weight, especially for, for hard gainers. And don't worry about getting fat with the two liters of milk or on a whole food diet. I mean, for God's sake, if you're a hard gainer, that should be the last thing on your mind. You should be thinking about gaining weight. Uh, of course, Perry also suggested to not drink or smoke and to sleep plenty, eight to 10 hours minimum daily. And of course, not to then after your training program to go, uh, you know, play two hours of football or tennis or whatever. Um, you would need to rest to allow the body to grow. Uh, one way of putting it, I guess, is watch a baby and how it grows. If you have ever seen a baby, a child grow, what do they do? They eat and sleep, that's it. So that's basically what you do here. You eat, sleep, and train. You train to stimulate, you eat to recover, and you sleep to recover. The program is based on whether you like it or not, the 20 rep squats. This is, I still believe, the number one method of gaining weight for hard gainers. It is brutally hard, both physically and mentally. It will drain you. You'll feel like giving up on, your, on the 10th or 15th rep, but whatever, 
it works and it makes a man out of you full stop if you don't like it you're not going to get i don't think the same effect doing leg presses and especially not leg extensions for god's sake put weight on your back get down to the to the hole and squat up and do it 20 times it's freaking hard you'll be ready to puke by the end of it and this is i guess why perry also recommends that you can alternate your sessions during the week i did say that one should train two to three times a week well the first one the first session should be the 20 reps of squatting on your second session after you've recovered whether it's a wednesday and then a friday or you know if you started on monday uh, it's uh, now thursday because you only want to train twice a week the second session should be 10 reps times three sets or 15 reps times two sets depending if you're doing two to three times a week of training and of course you would you would in this case because you're using less reps you'd want to increase the weight here right it's not it's not a chance to to you know to pussy out it's it's a, it's a chance to increase your weight used in the exercise to then eventually achieve a 20 rep squat on that poundage it is hard it is not easy but then nothing worth doing is easy is it the program as i said it involves the breathing squat 20 reps along with that you have other assistance exercises but if you have no time and this is a great thing for people that are busy if you have no time perry recommends just doing the squat you will grow and you will grow whether you like it or not on this program believe me uh, the other assistance exercises include pullovers he only recommends doing one set of the rest because trust me if you are doing the 20 rep squat properly you'll be dead after you will be absolutely dead and good luck trying to do the rest 20 reps for the pullovers 10 to 12 reps on the military press one all-out set by the way an all-out set on each of these exercises the barbell curl or the weighted chin up for 10 to 12 reps the barbell bench press or weighted dip for 10 to 12 reps barbell bent over rows 10 to 12 reps and either a sit up or a leg raise for 10 to 12 reps that's it if you want to do more than that then believe me you are not using enough weight on these exercises by the end of the program you should look like Arnold beastly huge you know I, I remember I put on I started at 65 kilos and over a year and a half I put I went up to 80 to 85 kilos so I put about 20 kilos yeah that's right 50 pounds most people screamed steroids and I've never taken steroids and many people have put on even up to a hundred pounds on this why because the squat just causes incredible growth in your body the growth hormone and testosterone levels shoot right you just get strong your, your whole base your legs get strong your back gets strong the deep breathing increases your chest size you just get huge it's a great way of gaining weight if you've enjoyed the video i hope you have please give it a thumbs up and thank you for watching leave me your comments i always read them and i'll see you soon this is the golden era bookworm bye for now